location wherever you go, and the fact that you're having to have a new one this year is a big deal. Uh, what, what's your rationale on not having those guys talk, or uh, even after the G Day game? Because it's just the big discussion that they don't have an answer for the questions that you have, in my opinion. And I just want them to focus on trying to get better. And when we get a real live pecking order, I think it'll be it'll be the time to talk. But right now, I just didn't want to worried about media, I wasn't worried about trying to learn what to do. Coach, going back to, to the summer leadership thing, it, will you guys kind of listen to what, you know, and watch what happens in the summer, who's leading, and, and will that factor into the quarterback competition, or will it be basically what you see when, when fall camp rolls around? I think that always, I think that always helps to hear how guys are doing and how they're leading and how guys are responding to the leadership. I think that's important, but I think it's going to be mostly what we see in practice meetings. I mean, you learn a lot in meetings too now. You start asking questions, and find out what guys know and how fast they can give it to you, and how accurately they can give it to you. And when you're watching film, what did you see? Why'd you do it? You know, because sometimes the ball might get thrown to a spot that maybe wasn't in the progression, but if the guy's got some good reasoning behind it and it's, it's successful, then you know you're like, okay, I can buy that. You know, but. Um, it, there's just uh, it'll mostly be from what's happening in the meetings, what's happening on the field, and um, you know the scrimmages uh, will be big. We'll have two scrimmages. We usually have three prior to the first game, and usually that third scrimmage is like a practice game. So I'm hoping by then we'll at least say who's going to start the game. Um, we'll just have to see. What's your comfort level with overall? Unsettled a couple key spots. You don't know receiver. I think what's going to happen. And, and yeah, there's a lot of moving parts right now, no doubt. Um, I think once we are we hone it into getting one unit ready to play, then I think it's all going to uh, it'll all come together better. We're a lot of learning going on. Three units going. Uh, not sure, you know, who the starting quarterback is, rotating guys around. You know, it's, it's hard to imagine to have a ton of continuity right this second. Um, but as we get closer to it, we'll we'll hone things down as far as game plan. We'll hone things down as far as who's getting reps, who we're going to count on, and it, it'll it'll come together. You may not want to point anybody out of this group, but the early enrolled even anybody kind of make a statement or to you um, that they, and they may be ready to contribute early. I think on. if you I, you know, it's hard to say, but Natrez Patrick, I think he looks like he found a home anyway there. You know, I don't know. If, I'm not saying he's going to start or anything like that, but I think he's got a good body type and a good disposition to play that middle linebacker position. I think that was a good move uh, for us. You know, the young safeties have had been hot and cold and haven't making some plays. Jackson Harris, I think, uh, is a guy that. Um, has got the skill set to do well, and, and he's learning pretty quick. I think he had a real solid deal. Uh, Led, Ledbetter is learning a lot. They have a ball down there. Can you hear him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Last day of spring, man. <laughs> I don't know if they're doing WrestleMania in there or what they're doing there, but um, i trying to think of who else. Uh, Mid-year that was getting work. Two safeties. We had Ledbetter. We, had, we got Chukes and Gainis. You know, those, those guys are going to help us win. Chukes and Gaines, you know, older guy from junior college with Chukes and then Gaines, you know, obviously coming from UAB. But I think they all had a solid, got a lot of solid work in. I think Trey's a little bit bigger inside line by the time than what y'all have been yeah. trying to get down to, right? Or yeah, well, yeah, and I, I don't know if that will be his, his target weight will be less than what we're seeing right now. But, you know, we weren't sure if he was going to be an outside linebacker. And we weren't sure, you know, I don't even know. He might have moved to a defensive then, you know. So just as we're recruiting, I don't know if we really knew what he was going to become. But we put him in that backer spot. I think now he'll know how to train to get to the right weight. Did he play as well?